Welcome, welcome back, my friends. Get ready to be impressed by some spectacular wearable art. It is my pleasure to have Chief Curator. I have Sandy Schwan and volunteer Kathleen Dival. Kathleen, thank you so much, both of you, for being here. You've been working so hard at this. Now, the Castle Museum is highlighting some often forgotten art forms. Tell us about this new exhibit. So um, we have a very extensive textile collection yeah. and um, Kathleen has been working with us for over a year and we started getting ready saying what are we going to do, what are we going to put into this space yeah. and we said let's do a textile exhibit but at the same time we always have a tendency to show clothing and we said we wanted to show some other things um, that we found in the collection yeah. and so we gave it her task to so, select yeah. things for Kathleen, us. Kathleen, I have to know like what were you doing Kathleen and, and what can our friends really look forward to when they come out? Um, so I have been working, as I said, volunteering, and okay. so I've been going through and I've been cataloging a lot of the items, and so I was very familiar with all the artifacts in the textile collection. There's over 2,000 at least. Are there some so cool things that you've seen that you really... I've seen so many things. Like what? Explain. Um, so I am a apparel entrepreneur, so I'm learning how to start my own clothing business, and oh I, have a like, I have a passion yes. for historical fashion, and so I've just seen all of these amazing handmade clothing and different oh. things, and it's so cool to see all the different things that people have spent the time to make yes. and it's just so wonderful. You can see the love and all the time that the people yeah. put in each of these handmade things. I love that. Okay, so why is it so important, would you say, to keep these items visible for everyone, for the public to come in and check it out? Um, you know, it's, it's part of our mission. You yes. know, it's, it's the story that we want to tell. It's, it's to bring it, um, it's a way for us to bring history alive yeah. um, and to show that even something a hundred that's a hundred years old is still relevant today. Um, we see a renaissance of a lot of um, these art forms yeah. coming back, and young people are doing it. Yeah, and that's what I love. I love that you can also teach kids history huh. by looking at it. It's not always in a book. I mean, yeah. You can actually look at it, feel it, touch it, and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You know. So, what would you say, Kathleen, from all of your work on this and volunteering, that you would say is so exciting just for people to come out and, and make sure you check it out. I think it's just so cool to see all the different types of art forms that can go into handmade work. I think oftentimes people will think, oh, there's just like quilting yes. and there's knitting, right. but there's just so much more. Like we have tatting, which is a form of lace making, which is super oh. cool. And I have started to learn that. I'm not very good at it yet, but I think it's really cool because most people don't even know what that is. And yes. so I think it's so cool that we've been able to include that and crochet, which has become more popular. And so people can come in and be like, oh my goodness, I'm yeah. starting to learn how to do that. Or my friends is doing that. Or I've seen a video of about it and so I think it's just so cool how yeah. we can kind of like Sandy said there's been a rebirth of this sure beautiful art form and so it's so yeah. cool to see all of these different things. Okay so everyone out there their interest it's peaked so tell they tell me where is it when is it and how can people come out and visit? So the exhibit runs um, through the end of July. Okay. Um, the museum is open uh, seven days a week. Um, we're open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 4 30. Um, Sunday from 1 to 4 30. Um, on Thursday nights, we're here until 7 o'clock, wow. so um, if evenings are better for you, come in and check us out on Thursday night. Also, um, I, if you're a Saginaw County resident, um, you and your guests get in free. Did you hear that? There is no excuse not to go out and check this out. Saginaw residents get in free. Thank you for bringing us this information. And Kathleen, thank you for all the work you've done on this. Okay. It seems really exciting for everyone to come out. Kids, are, kids also, they'll <laughs> yeah. definitely enjoy it, won't they? Yep. Thank you both. Appreciate Thank you, you so much for having us. Of course, you're so welcome. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM 4 pm news at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4 p.m. News Spotlight.